Did a DeVos has the last draw. The man from Belgium, another big part of their success throughout the course of uh, this year. Belgium, of course, topping the European Division One FEI Nations Cup league table and then won the final in Barcelona. Peter here with a part. Rode it to uh, sixth in the World Cup round in uh, Lyon. Also finished 11th on Espoir in uh, Oslo. So has uh, found his way up to ninth at the moment. A little bit of encouragement there to get through that line. Just hear him clicking away. Watching on closely. Ten would be such a nice round number. Really had to push there. He knows the time certainly doesn't leave a lot of breathing space, but I would suggest at the moment he should be okay. Had to pull to hold back up to the upright. He comes to the final fence. It's going to get tight with the clock, but it's all good for the last to go. It is 10 that'll go forward as uh, Peter De Vos for Belgium gives Belgium their second clear round and books a place for a part. Yes, yeah, certainly could make a big move on the points table here today, but so could plenty of others. It'll be uh, amazing to see how it all chops and changes. So, Peter De Vos joins the list as well. We ended up with 10 clears. Full credit to our uh, course designer for uh, getting it absolutely spot on here in uh, Stuttgart. Well done there to uh, Christa Jung. For the clears, as you can see, Christian Kukuk, Stephanie Holman, Maurice Tebel, Germany, Sweden, Germany. Then it was Austria's Max Kuna, Sweden's Peter Fredriksson, Germany's Philip Weishaupt. Then uh, Olivia Philippartz for Belgium, Steve Gadat for Switzerland, Christian Ullmann for Germany and Peter DeVos for Belgium. We're in for an absolute treat here in this uh, the fifth leg of the Western European League for the Longines FEI Jumping World Cup in Stuttgart. The track getting set and will get set and we'll take you through that jump off round to wrap up here what has been a stunning week in Stuttgart in a couple of minutes time.